Today, we'll be looking at how solar power stations in space could be the answer to our energy needs. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. It sounds like science fiction. Huge solar power plants floating in orbit that carry massive quantities of energy back to Earth. And for a long time, the concept, first created by Russian scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky in the 1920s, was largely an inspiration for authors. A century later, however, scientists are making great strides in translating the idea into reality. The European Space Agency has recognized the promise of these activities and is now looking to finance these ventures, forecasting that the first commercial resource from space could be beamed power. Climate change is the biggest threat of our day because there's a lot at stake. From rising global temperatures to evolving weather conditions, the effects of climate change are now being felt across the globe. Overcoming this challenge would entail fundamental reform in how we produce and use electricity. One approach proposed is to create a swarm of thousands of smaller satellites that will come together and be designed to form a single massive solar generator. In 2017, researchers at the California Institute of Technology outlined plans for a mobile power station composed of thousands of ultralight solar cell tiles. They also showed a sample tile weighing just 280 grams per square meter, equivalent to the weight of a card. Developments in technologies such as 3D printing have also recently been investigated for this application. At Liverpool University, we are developing new processing methods for the printing of ultralight solar cells on solar sails. The solar sail is a foldable, lightweight, and highly reflective membrane capable of harnessing the influence of the sun's radiation pressure to move the spacecraft forward without fuel. We are investigating how solar cells can be built into solar sail systems to build massive, fuel-free solar power stations. These approaches will make it possible for us to develop power stations in space. Indeed, it could one day be possible to manufacture and launch space units from the International Space Station or the future Lunar Gateway Station that would orbit the Moon. In reality, such devices may help supply power to the Moon. There's no limit to the options. Although we're still dependent on Earth materials to construct power stations, scientists are now exploring the use of space tools for production such as materials found on the moon. Another big obstacle will be the return of the electricity to Earth. The idea is to transform power from solar cells to energy waves and use electromagnetic fields to move it to an antenna on the Earth's surface. The antenna will transform the waves back into electricity. Researchers, led by the Japan Aerospace Research Agency, have already developed designs and demonstrated an orbiter system that should be able to do so. There is still a lot of work to be done in this area, but the hope is that solar power stations in space will become a possibility in the coming decades. Researchers in China have developed a device called Omega, which promises to be operational by 2050. This machine should be able to provide two gigawatts of electricity to the Earth's grid at peak output, which is an incredible sum. You would need more than six million of them to generate that much electricity with solar panels here on Earth. Smaller solar power satellites, such as those intended to power lunar rovers, may be operational much earlier. Across the world, the research community is engaged in time and commitment to build solar power stations in space. Our dream is that they will one day be a critical instrument in our fight against climate change. Renewable energy technologies have evolved rapidly in recent years, with increased performance and lower prices. But the fact that they do not have a continuous supply of energy is a significant obstacle to their uptake. Wind and solar farms only generate energy while the wind blows or the sun shines, but we need electricity around the world every day. At the end of the day, we need a way to store electricity on a wide scale until we can turn to renewable energies. Benefits of space. A potential way around it will be to produce the solar energy in space. There are a lot of drawbacks to this. A space-based solar power station could orbit facing the sun 24 hours a day. Earth's atmosphere also collects and reflects more of the sun's rays, meaning solar cells outside the atmosphere can gain more sunshine and create more electricity. But one of the main problems to be addressed is how to assemble, launch, and deploy these massive systems. 
A single solar power station may have to be as much as 10 kilometers square in area, equivalent to 1,400 soccer fields. The use of lightweight materials would also be important, as the cost of launching the platform into orbit on a rocket will be the biggest expense. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you, and welcome to the end of the video club. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below, and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity, and I'll see you on the next one.